Howdy, homesteaders. Today, we're over at the house, and we're going to start a fire. Yes, that's right. We are at the house that we're trying to sell, our five-bedroom house. And we've been trying to, you know, clean it up here and there and get it, you know, we already have it on, on the, the market for sale. And we continually want to keep improving it. Uh, to try and improve our chances of getting it sold. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing is we're clearing up all this brush that we had accumulated. And uh, when we accumulated the brush initially, uh, we really didn't have any plans of going anywhere. So we thought we were just going to have it for our own little campfires every so often, and we would just do that. But, you know, everything's changed. We are, uh, you know, we did move out of here, and we do have the other property, and we are hoping to sell this place. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, burn up the brush. So this is the brush that we're going to burn. And, well, that's just the starter. That's just to get the fire started, actually. Uh, that is the brush we're going to burn. And also there's some wood back here in the wood pile. Under this uh, tree right here. And you can see that there's a couple stacks over here of wood. And we're going to go ahead and try to burn all this up today. Uh, if we don't get it all burned up today, that's fine. Now, originally, I was thinking, you know, uh, why not just leave it there? The next people who buy the property might like it. Uh, might. That's the operative word. Uh, you never know what people like and what they don't like. And what I think is useful and what I think is something that could be used to, uh, as a benefit Someone else might look at it as being clutter. Uh, so uh, it's always safer just get rid of it, uh, have a clean slate, and if they want a wood pile, they can make their own wood pile. Here's my wife. And hello, hello honey. Hi, and dear. what she's been doing is she's been raking up all these leaves. There's a lot of leaves that were on the ground, and you don't want to start a big fire with a bunch of uh, tinder all around you. I can go up just like that. Uh, so as for safety precautions, she's uh, really raked uh, most of these around here. I've shoveled some of them and put them on the fire as, as tinder. Uh, but really, she's raked most of it around, away. away from there to create like a little fire break. Yep. So we don't have to worry about setting ourselves ablaze. Okay. So what I'm going to try to do here is this is some two-cycle two gas. I was using this for my uh, 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 chainsaw. And it was originally for my uh, weed eater uh, a while ago, uh, but the weed eater, I never got it back up and running. Uh, so this two-cycle gas is uh, probably a couple years old. It's just old two-cycle gas. Now, it's still dangerous. You still have to be careful with it. And uh, my wife, she's a little uneasy about it. Uh, but this is uh, what I'm going to use to start the fire. Uh, I would say that if you're, uh, uh, if you're unsure in any way, uh, and, and, and you've never done it before, I say don't do it. It's dangerous, uh, but I'm going to do it today. A lot of times people on farms, they use kerosene, and kerosene is a totally different type of fuel. It burns a lot slower, and it's a lot easier to work with. Uh, but I'm just going to be super careful. I've got a plan. Uh, last time I did it up on the hill, I had one of those little uh, barbecue lighters that had an extension on it, and I thought that was going to be great. And I put it on the fire, and I went ahead and lit it, and boom! went off and if that could have got that on film that might have been interesting but uh my wife said when she saw me she said it looked like the flames went all around me and it, it didn't touch me i didn't get burned uh, but i'm not going to do that this time okay. make sure that this is far away from the fire like I said, don't do this. And of course, if you have a better way to do this, put it in the uh Maybe I'll get it right next time. Oh, it's taking off, dear. 
Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at the fire. I am. Don't get too close. I think it's going to go up. It's got gas on it. Maybe the fumes are blown away here. Hopefully. There's still fuel there. It, it's got fluid. There it goes. The fluid's catching. That's good. Okay, looks like my near miss was a hit on target. <laughs> seeing here is a lot of the um, leaves that we put in there are wet so they're going to smoke a lot but I'm hoping that they will burn hot enough to get these twigs caught on fire then once I get the twigs caught on fire I'll put some more small pieces on there and get a nice little brush fire going and then after the brush fire is going really hot and really good that's when I'll start putting additional stuff like this on here this is left over from the last fire and these are big logs. So. So, you know, we're burning a lot of leaves, and one thing about leaves, just like paper or anything else, it throws up a lot of ash. And I don't know if you can tell by looking at me right now, but I've been sitting here and I'm getting a little, little bit of ash on me, just so you know. Just coyotes. Yeah, dear. Right over there. Is 
Thank you.